Hello, crafty clan. I appear to be live without it telling me. Um, let's sort this out. Ah, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, hello. This is me. I'm. <laughs> I'm like. What? I hope I wasn't picking my nose or anything. Right. Hello, guys. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. It was telling me we weren't, we weren't live. This thing. Um. So hi, <laughs> I see I'm definitely live. I can see the chat now. Um, hello everybody. Um, yes, I, I hope you all didn't run away with that. I think I've got things sorted. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let me know in the chat if this is actually working now because I know clearly it wasn't. So today we have got days five and six of our advent calendar to look at. There is the badger to finish. I'll see what we're doing there and also I got a lovely surprise in the post the other day so we'll look at that I don't think we'll do that but I want to show you it too um uh well, it looks like we're getting some highs there um hello Alicia hi Claire Erica's here Ginger hello um Alicia Claire, hello, and Diana, yes, we can see and hear you at last. <sighs> Thank you so much. That, oh, isn't technology wonderful? Yeah, it was sitting here spinning, saying, waiting to go live, and then I looked on YouTube, and it's like, you're live. Went, really? Really, I'm not? <laughs> right. I will show you first what the, the fun thing I got from our friend Pat. Um, at Big Hugs Handmade, she sent me... Let's does that yes the heel and coo brooch kit so that is fun we will definitely do that at some point i don't want to open this yet but she is big hugs with a z z with a z <laughs> with a z big hugs handmade and this kit makes two heel and coo brooches um and it looks like you have everything you need little felting needle felting needles um, yep, yeah, all the stuff. We will we will check this out at some point. Um, but I want to see what we've got here. Um, if we've got inspiration to make something from these two bags, I'm sure that's some kind of fibre. And I'm not sure. Looks like wire might be eyes or something. We'll see what, what comes in this. If we have an inspiration for something we can make. Oh, I've got some ideas. But let, let's see, if I don't have any inspiration, then we'll work on the badger or we'll work on the coos. But if I get inspired, we'll do something with this. So let's start with day number five. And I hope you've all had an awesome weekend. Oh, that's a real dark. Yeah, you can see it's a navy blue with... Oh, I was going to say sparkles in it, but it's not. It's like little little pops of colour. Oh, now I'm not sure. Rainbow drops, midnight glue, midnight midnight blue. Yeah, that you can see that on the camera. It's like it's got a galaxy in there. Wow. Any ideas what we could make with that? That is gorgeous. It's rainbow drops, midnight blue, a new colour in our advent calendar. A favourite range of the rainbow drops, midnight blue. Easy to shape merino wool bats, a dress for a winter fairy, perhaps. Could be. It's pretty. What could we make with that? Hmm. Get your ideas in the chat. Oh, um, could someone just say hello in the chat or something? Is this chat actually still working or is it froze? I'll just check everything's working. Let me know if everything is working because stuff being weird today. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, uh, let me know if everything's working there. I'm just checking on other tabs. It looks like we should be live. Um, oh, here, yes, uh, Alicia, I love the bright, the blue rainbow drops. We got it in the space surprise box for November. Yeah, that is super pretty. I really, I like that. I don't know what to do with it yet. It would make a lovely background as well to a 2D painting. You could like lay that flat and it's got lots of bits in it. Let's see what six is and then see if we've got some ideas. Um, yeah, okay, everyone's saying it's working. Yeah, I just got a, I just freaked out a little bit because nobody had chatted for a while, which is understandable, <laughs> but because I didn't see anything and we had such a bad start, right? So let's see what we've got for today. Oh, safety pins, whoops. <laughs> little gold safety pin well not say just 
yeah, safety pins. Um, <laughs> here we go. I've got um, two, three, about five little safety pins. So, before I... <laughs> Excuse them rustling. Just checking there was no more in before I threw them out, threw the bag out. Um, but yes, no sew brooch backs. If you haven't tried these, they're an absolute treat. No sewing, no gluing. Just pin it and turn it. Ah, right. So yes, it's, can we see this? There's no other little twirly back, so you can just put it in. Have I got a bit of fabric here? I don't want to ruin my top showing you this. Let's, let's ruin this guy. Um, so, so yeah, you can just, can we see here? You can just put the pin in. Wow, that's horrible. And then just keep turning it around and that's it in place. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's a new one on me. Right. Hmm. Any ideas what we can make with this? I've got one idea, right? Um, let me know what you think. It's not what I was thinking of making today, but the, we've got to use what we've got. I am thinking of a kind of Christmas star, not for the top of the tree, but a star. Um, would look cool with this, with the little surprises of colour. And yeah, if it's small enough, then we have a pin and it could become a little star, galaxy star brooch. So it'd be like... A star with stars in it. Let me know, or if you can think of anything else you would like to see with this, let me know. Let's see if there's anything in the chat before I get started. Um, yep, they're brooch backs. <laughs> yep, no soap. So, yep, got, got the hang of that. So, you've got a couple of seconds before I dive in. And I saw, I've seen some people have made stars already using the wire, which is gorgeous, but I want to make something a little bit different, which probably means I won't manage to do it. But I have in my head a lovely plump felted star. Not sure how well it's going to work in reality, but let's give it a go. Yeah, let's do that. Now, I was trying to think in my head, I'll take you through the, the thought process. I was thinking of making a large shape and just sort of pulling out the point, you know, felting it into the points of the star as I went along. Or the other option is to make a sort of round shape and add the points of the star on and then blend it together. I think that second way it will be easier. The first might have been a fun challenge, but no, we'll do that. We'll do a sort of circle and then add points to this, then add the points of the star and then felt it all together into a proofiness. That that sounds like an easier one because I've got people watching. That's not how I would do it myself if I was just sitting here myself, but we'll give that a go. I will use my blue three needle tool to get a start. Um, so I've just taken a little bit. Oh, and it's got the nice stuff at the front already. It's looking cool. Um, Bridget, hello there. How are you doing? Right. So how's everyone's weekend been? It was cool. I, I'm enjoying doing these daily felts, but it was also really cool to have a day off. Um, went and visited a friend and we had a little walk in the park and then um there's there's a cafe that just opened in the summer in her area called the Transylvanian Cafe it's a Polish deli and a cafe and she'd heard that they were selling um chocolate coffins she'd start they'd started them in um at Halloween but they'd kept them going so we went to get a chocolate coffin, but they didn't have any. So we got a takeout coffee and some gorgeous. It was supposed to be a chocolate ginger cake, but this is the surprising. It was, it also had cherry, like cherry jam in it. And I've never thought cherry and ginger would work. Cherry and chocolate, Black Forest Gatto, delicious. Chocolate and ginger, delicious. I didn't think cherry and ginger would work, but it was delicious. Uh, probably because we were outside <laughs> freezing cold and had been walking miles. It was even better. But anyway, yes, that was nice. <laughs> uh, Diana, <laughs> I'm well spotted. Yes, this is Diet Iron Brew I'm on. For those that don't know, this is our other national drink in Scotland. Yeah, the love it or loathe it. I don't like the non-diet stuff. The sweet stuff is like sherbet. But it's, I can't even explain the taste. It's it's just fizzy orange sweetness. Uh, the best thing for hangovers is the sweet stuff, apparently. Um, right. So I don't want to go too firm with this yet. So we have a multicolored 
<laughs> puffy thing. Um, and I want five points for the stars. So I'm just going to try and pull out five similar sized bits. <laughs> And yeah, similar sized is not going to be easy. Um, <laughs> but Diana's not a fan of our AM brew. <laughs> it's a love it or loathe it thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, and Alicia's saying that, that makers do other colours of this, um, what do we call it, rainbow drops. Now, one, two, three, four. Hey, I've got five bits and I'm just going to felt them oops into sort of triangles with the bottom ends not I, I don't like I'm doing a tutorial I've no idea if this is going to work but I'm making them into little triangles and then we'll stick the bottom onto the circle and then we'll find out if it works um Alicia's favorite of the rainbow drops is white rainbow drops yeah that sounds fun too and green rainbow drops um Oh, Bridget, it works. Always put ginger in my jam. Yeah, um, my gran used to... Rhubarb and ginger jam, that was the one. Yes, rhubarb and ginger works. I never thought of cherry, but it was lovely. Um, Serena's got the craving for iron brew. <laughs> Erica, it felt quick. It's felt fairly quick. Yeah, I'm not going super firm, but just getting a shape, trying to can I bring my camera down slightly so you can see more of the... F we, we are here for felting and chat, so... <laughs> um, Siri, love your shirt. Thank you so much. It's, it's a little kind of slashery thing with a sort of... It's supposed to be a skull, but it seems to have... It looks more like a kind of alien face. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's mainly... It's really cold here today. It's, a be it's been a beautiful blue... Blue, blue skies, sunny day, but the frost never shifted for the whole day. So, yeah, I've been freezing and wanted long sleeves. And then I always roll up the long sleeves because I like the idea of long sleeves, but I hate my arms being covered. So, yeah, I'm a weirdo. Yeah, but yes, we've done, we've done one little star point. I'm going to try some of my more stabby needles just to... Nope, that's not so good. Um, yeah, we'll stick with this one. I only brought a few needles up the stairs. Um, so for, for those that don't know, I'm not downstairs in some kind of dingy basement or something. This is my upstairs spare bedroom, but it looks like a dingy basement. But it's it's starting to be less so. We're, we're getting it decorated all up with Christmas stuff somewhere here. <laughs> um, if you can't see it, can I brighten up the... No, that's not better. Let's just have it dark and dingy. Uh, <laughs> Siri says, super cute, talking about the shirt. Thank you so much. Right, so what's everybody else been up to? Have, have you had... Oh, yes, that was the other thing. There was a little... It's really weird, because where I live, I don't... I've not really been out. Obviously, I work from home, um, so I don't see much of people. But where my friend lives, she's in, like, Glasgow... Um, not quite the city centre, the south side for anyone who knows Glasgow um, and it was just weird there being so many people there at the the little cafe we were at, there was a couple of little stalls outside selling Christmas stuff so we had to peer from the distance and then when we were walking back home to hers there was like a little alley alleyway that had um, a little Christmas market in it as well. So we we socially distanced, but walked down and peered at the stalls and everything as well, which was really nice and stood at the end and smelt the mold wine and, <laughs> and things. So it was really nice, just weird being around that sort of level of busyness of people. I've not seen that many people <laughs> for the most part of this year, but it was kind of nice to see it and just get out and see people without without being unsafe and crazy um, because it would well I'm 99% sure that I've already had COVID and hopefully um oh there we go I've said the word now <laughs> this video is demonetized but I've hopefully had the the lager lurgy and I'm okay but I don't want my friends or people around me to have it so it's important not to go crazy and do the wrong things at this last moment in time before everything hopefully gets sorted so but at the same time, it was nice to see some Christmas lights and smell some mold wine and yeah, just 
Oh, and and eat chocolate cake. It's very weird in December sitting sitting on a stone bench in the street drinking coffee and eating chocolate cake but it was nice it was something a bit different to do so what's everyone else's weekends been like what have you been up to um as you seen that i don't know if i've said that right but beautiful name and lots of good vibes hello there i'm liking good vibes um Oh, Diana, I bet you are. We're cold here on Mole. Can see lots of snow on Ben Nevis and the Argyle Hills. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't mind when it's lovely and sunny and cold. And yeah, I can see where, where we are. We've got the Campsies, that direction, and the Glenfer Braes, that direction. And when I climb up a bit, I can see Ben Nevis and everything. Um, did I mean Ben Nevis? Ben Lomond. I meant Ben Lomond. Um, yes, you can see Ben Nevis. I can see Ben Lomond um and yeah it's it's beautiful um uh, but yeah no no snow down at our level uh ginger I have to pop out to take a progress pick or two for an unusual make for a fella and print receipts can't complain complain about the sales be back before the finish oh cool well enjoy that yeah i hope everyone's done well with their sales as I said before, mine are a little quieter than the past couple of years, but I'm totally happy with that because I haven't worked on them. But this pa the first week in December, this has been higher than every... Yeah, this has been my highest first week in December, or at least for a very long time, um, which is a bit of a pain because that does involve me messaging everyone and saying, you know, you won't get your orders before Christmas. <laughs> it's just not physically possible. I can cancel if you want. But yeah, but I, I shouldn't complain. It's nice. Um, but I really did want to sort of get all my last orders posted. Like I, I was hoping to have all my orders posted by December. Part of me knew that wasn't going to happen, but I was hoping for it. But nope, I've still got still got a few. Hopefully, get them out. We'll get them finished. Um, got none up here. I wasn't photographing any, but yeah, yesterday I sent a load out to the post office. Um, I'll photograph another load tomorrow and get them out. So yeah, I've got at least I've got at least orders till the end of this week. <laughs> um, Alicia, they they actually void it because of the C word. Yeah, um, the YouTube algorithm is super clever. Um, and we're supposed to be able to mention the Lager Lurgy word, but, um, you know, in like educational things and stuff. But the algorithm does have a freak out if it's not what your channel is usually about. They're like, oh, you're doing you're doing stuff to be sensationalist. We will demonetize this in case the advert advertisers freak out and stop advertising on youtube so yeah you tend to get demonetized and what you can do you can usually kind of appeal it um send a note to youtube and say i wasn't being all sensationalist it was all right can i get my monetization back and they take a couple of days and they review it but the problem with that is for most youtube for most videos on youtube your videos get some views in the first couple of days and then they they fizzle out they just you don't get anything after that so i'm putting the triangles onto the little fat circle yeah so if youtube decides not to monetize you not to run ads on your videos in those first couple of days then it doesn't really matter if you get them afterwards because you've lost any you know the, the chance is gone um not that my lives i don't worry about it we don't make tons of money from lives i'm that's not what i'm here for we're here to chat and and work and make stuff um, I mean, you've seen before, I've, I've shown my YouTube earnings and it's like one to two hundred pounds a month, which is nice. And I know some of you will go like, wow, that's amazing. And it is. But it doesn't cover the hours you put in by <laughs> by any means until you're like a much larger channel or you or you take lots of sponsorships. I do get lots. I do get some people contacting me, you know, offering sponsorships for talking about products. But in general i just don't i don't take them up on that because it means a lot of work for me learning how to use a product that 
I don't necessarily want to be bothered using, <laughs> if I'm honest, to to make sure that it's like good enough to tell you guys that it's good. So it just sounds like too much work for me. So we don't do that. Um, Siri, I'm going to try and make a super tiny felt ferret for a friend's Christmas present. Oh, good luck with that. That could be super cute. I've not done a ferret. I used to do squirrels that were like about the size of the end of the first joint of my finger and that did involve quite a lot of stabbing myself <laughs> um, but it was fun fun to do and I think a ferret could be adorable um, Serena we had six hours of snow on Friday but it was all gone by Saturday morning and just now it's just freezing yeah we've had no, well we had a blizzard of something solid sounding hitting the back door a couple of nights ago but nothing's really landed but today my back garden didn't defrost all day it was very pretty um but yeah my my dog mia she constantly was like i want to go out and just stand in the garden and look at stuff you like can can you not because <laughs> it's really cold with the door open um lily trees in the house hello there and guys after you've finished here you want to pop over to lily's channel and see her latest wire wire wrapped jewelry wow <laughs> i'm speaking jewelry channel <laughs> i'm speaking like was it elma fudd or something i'm chasing wabbits <laughs> um but yep so there's there's something different to do after you've finished here um Carol is writing Christmas cards while hubby is watching snooker. Oh, is the snooker on just now? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I've just been watching random YouTube all, all day while working on a little black black lab dog that I'm making just now. Um, but yeah, the tally will go on for anyone who's in the UK will know. Everyone else will probably not know what I'm talking about. But the tally will go on for his dark materials. I'll watch that. And then that's that's about all I'll watch today on the actual tally. And for yeah, anyone who's not in the UK, that's a UK adaption of what the film was. If, well, for the books. I think the books are his dark materials. But the film was... <laughs> We've got... We've got a comedy dinosaur paw just now. Um, right, let's add in another thing. Um, so the the film was The Golden Compass, and we're on season two now of the UK adaptation. Adaptation. There's the word. Ab adaptation. Um, and so we've gone further than the film. So I've not read the books yet. So it's kind of interesting to to see where where it all went to. That's kind of cool. There we go. Not a dinosaur paw anymore. For anyone who's just joined me, I am using the Maker's Raindrop Bats that came in our uh, Advent calendar for the 5th of December. And we're using that to make a brooch to go with the no sew brooch backs that we got for the 6th. So we're using two of our Advent things today as well. So yay! Um... Diana, yeah, that's the thing with most crafts. You put in so much time but don't get enough pay for your time. Yeah, yeah, I was really surprised in e rank Facebook group. Someone was asking, what's your hourly rate if you calculate it all down? And so many people were putting in, oh, it's $20 an hour and stuff. And I was just sitting reading that going, really? <laughs> you sure about, have you taken into account all your time? Because... But well, if people are really successful shop with print on demand or something, then that's possible. But for most of us who are actually making stuff, it takes a bit of takes a real bit of time to build up to that kind of level. And a lot of crafts, like if if you're knitting or crocheting or all these kind of things, it's going to be super difficult to make that kind of money because people just don't realize how time involved your crafts are um which is why adding extra things like tutorials and stuff like that that doesn't involve your time is a good way and yeah i'm not complaining about youtube at all like i don't expect a decent hourly wage from it but i hope i hope that you know in 20 years time when i'm not able to stab so much it'll still be bringing in some money 
if it's still around and we all still watch it but you know there, there's a hope that it, it keeps going because I've got like some videos I made 10 years ago that are still getting views so that's that there's the possibility that the wage will keep going long after I'm even working um Lily's got to catch up with his dark materials online oh cool yeah it's, I'm I usually kind of save things up to binge them, but I just really wanted to watch this. It makes me feel kind of Christmassy. Um, but I'm saving The Mandalorian. I've not watched any of the second season of that yet, and I'm really determined to start. Um, well, as stars go, this has kind of worked pretty nicely. I'm just going to keep going, firm it up, and just work on the shape. But, well, that was rather easy. Make a, make a circle and make four triangles, and you've got a star. Um, uh, Diana, best program for ages, read the books and they're great. Oh, yeah, I'll have to check out the books. Um, yeah, that's cool. The other books I was thinking of getting, um, I don't know why, I've heard of, but I, I hadn't watched or done anything to do with The Witcher until this weekend. Um, since Friday, I have watched the entirety of season one of The Witcher and now I want to get the books as well. I, I did rather enjoy that. Um, so, yeah, I, I totally binged the whole of that. Um, but, yeah, for some reason, I'm watching his dark materials one at a time, like like old fashioned television where you sit and wait for each episode <laughs> one day at a time. That's strange. Generally, I wait till everything ends and I just binge the whole thing. Especially, I find, because I I felt and watch shows, it helps time pass more quickly if I sit, go, oh, I've got this I've got this dog to do for a customer and it's going to take me four hours. That's tough to say that. But if I sit down and go, oh, I can watch four episodes of The Witcher while I'm doing this dog, that's that's much, <laughs> that's much nicer way to think of it. So, so that's what I do. <laughs> Bridget also binged The Witcher. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I, be I believe they are filming season two, but it won't be out till next year, obviously late next year. Um, oh, and I did see a thing saying for a spin-off series they're, or a little prequel or something, they're talking about bringing Jason Momoa in as a as the original Witcher or something. I was like, sounds good. That this is this is a show I can get behind. <laughs> <laughs> um and i i do think um he he would make a really awesome character that kind of looms broods a bit and is barely vocal apart from random grunting noises I, I, he would make an awesome witch <laughs> um yeah so really weird what we get talking about isn't it <laughs> So yeah, any other any other recommendations for shows? This time of year, yeah, totally. I just want to get cozied up and felt, sit down and felt with a nice cup of some cinnamon tea or something and just felt away watching some kind of fantasiness. So this wool, this oh, uh, what was it? Raindrop raindrop bats is felt and it is easy to take a shape but it is taking its time to get firm because i didn't fold it very very tight i'm working from a fluffy base um but just i do like switching about needles sometimes because sometimes ones that didn't work so well initially do better once you get a little bit of a tighter felt i'm not sure i'm in a fussy mood for needles today yeah but I think this is going to be a cute little star brooch. Um, yeah, random idea. I just saw a twinkly star bat, so we're making a, a star with a galaxy in it. <laughs> Bridget's on my wavelength, yeah. Jason Momoa is great in any shirtless role. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Um, Alicia loves cinnamon tea too. Yeah, I've got a. I'm actually out just now. I'm gonna have to buy some more. I summer I do peppermint, and then as soon as it becomes start the nights start drawing in, and it's coming near Christmas, I want cinnamon. <laughs> right. 
Um, so, yeah, everyone who's doing the advent calendar, what what did you do with this blue sparkle stuff? Uh, let me know, or if you haven't had any ideas yet. I know the label that came with it suggested a fairy's dress, which I think is a cool idea too. I haven't made fairies yet. Um, but what, what have you made with it? Or what did you think of to make with it when you saw it? Because um, it's such a cool fabric, <laughs> but it's hard to, to know what to do sometimes with it. Um, so, and that's the point of these advent calendars is to get a bit of inspiration every day. So, <laughs> oh, sold, sold lily tree as well. Mm, cinnamon. <laughs> yes, I love cinnamon. I actually, another thing I love to do is to make the house smell all nice and cinnamon, cinnamon, -y 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 -y. um, this time of year. And I bought some nice cinnamon candles when I was at the supermarket last and the there's just no scent off it. I've been burning this thing forever and there's no scent coming out. So that was a rip off. Um, Diana's got a vote in for licorice and peppermint. I have licorice and peppermint in the cupboard. Um, it's not my favourite, but I definitely, definitely like it. Um, definitely take it now and again. Put a little bit of the skinny syrups in it, actually, and it, it's much nicer with a bit of sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> Bridget saying, looking at Jason Momoa is good for your mental health. Right, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Mustn't objectify people. Mustn't ob but totally, yeah. <laughs> so do you think if that's the case, do you think we could get like an NHS prescription for Jason Momoa? Do you, <laughs> do you think that that would be allowable? <laughs> I kind of, anytime like I'm drawing a star or I'm making a star, when I get them kind of like this, I just want to put a face on it <laughs> and have it as a kind of random, it's a sort of ghosty, but a kind of nightmare before Christmas character. But anyway, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to keep this poofy in the middle and curving out to the, to the leg so it looks nice and fat. Um, Alicia, absolutely pucketees. Yes, they're yeah, they're pretty much all I've got. The th three gingers and there's the cinnamon. Well, turmeric. No, gin. That's it. The ginger ones have turmeric and ginger and galangal. Um. Yep. Uh, Diana, when this came in last month's surprise box, I used it to make a 2D galaxy. Yep, I can totally see that's a look. You don't even have to use it to make a galaxy. Bits of fluff everywhere. You don't even have to use it to make a galaxy. It just is a 2D galaxy all by itself. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm tempted with the idea of making a little Santa's hat for the top of it or something um, just to make it... Um, make it festive because everything else is so festive and I read I looked at this and I couldn't think of festivities in it um but it's a cool it's a cool little fabric it's really cute and it's one of those because it's I, I can't see everything as well as you guys can because it's dark here and I've got light right in my face so as I pulled it out I was like oh that's a navy boot blue oh, what's the point of that and then you saw this it's like ah it's a sparkly navy blue <laughs> <laughs> Lily's go on, put a face on it. <laughs> I might, we'll see. Um, Alicia, chai, that's the one that has it all. I got some chai a while ago. Maybe I just got the wrong one or something. Um, but I love the sound of it. And then I made some and I was just like, that's a that. that. I, I suppose it's like the mold wine and everything, isn't it? The idea is better. But I might have just got the wrong thing. I do love the idea of it, so I'm gonna try again. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, we beheld the morning infusions of Id Ildr Idris Elba. Words are difficult a few years back. Momoa is a placebo. <laughs> uh, Ginger, yeah. we're, we're in Ginger's pocket just now. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, I actually got uh, yesterday one of my colleagues put a picture because she kind of listens with me me in the background and she 
her, her daughter had <laughs> drawn a picture of me. It's so cool. Little little kind of stick man pan. Well, I had some clothes on. And then literally the felt tip pen. There was like a red side and a blue side. I was like, that's so cool. Yay, people are drawing me. Because <laughs> it was on the background there. Um, now, because I want to put the brooch pins into this, this this would absolutely do as it is as a decoration. That is so fun. Uh, this would do as a decoration, but I just want to make it a bit firmer to actually put the brooch pin into it. Um, and this, any of the, the sparkle bats. I said, Alicia, right, you're the expert on this. Do these do these come in different colours as well? Because the red's gorgeous, but I think in different colours, a star in this would be amazing um but a, a star with a galaxy in it is pretty cool too um i am tempted to put some sparkle on it but that would probably just detract from the little pops of multicolored stars rainbow drops but little stars um which is a gorgeous little surprise <laughs> i feel bad because there's going to be tons of these little pops of color I'll be hidden in the inside here. I feel like I'm wasting <laughs> I'm wasting the colour. Um, but yeah, you could always make something like this. Felt it really firm, nice and chubby and cute, and then cut it down the middle and have two brooches. Um, double double the, the product for not much more than the same work. Um, oh, Alicia, pack it. Oh, I guess these... How am I going to see? Excuse me. Fluff up the nose again. Pukka chai tea. Now, it probably was pukka, I think. Now, real chai tea is the best from Henry and Joe's in Bath. Ooh, I'm... If they do online, I'll go and have a nosy. You're addicted to it and have lots of different kinds. I'll have Henry and Joe. Right, Pam, try and remember Henry and Joe in Bath and I'll go and have a look. Because I really, as I say, I really love the idea of it. It sounds awesome and yummy. But what I what I had was just like, eh. it, it wasn't as awesome as I hoped it would be. So I'm I'm open to I'm I'm open to ideas there. This the the little the little points of the star are pretty nicely firm. But now I'm. I've neglected the centre, which is going to be the bit that the bad the brooch bat has to go on. So I've got to felt this a bit more, and it's cool. Like with a star, you have the right number of fingers. You can just... <laughs> that looks cute. I'm stop trying to make it a strange little character, Pam. But you you can mush it into shape quite easily with the fingers that you have on your hand. I don't understand how people like every, people look and go Pam's felt in the air that's dangerous I don't understand how you can felt on a surface because I just feel like I've got so much control over the shape just by manipulating it um Diana ah uh, yeah nothing like chai in India a long way to go for a chai fix yeah um True, it probably like anything. It would be best to get it from its its country of origin, but I I don't think I don't think I can justify flying out to India just to try and get that. Um, Alicia, yeah, true enough. You should really use core wool to make the body of something like this, and just cover it with a pretty wool, so I'm not wasting all the little pops of colour. I do wonder as well though, I will have to investigate more with this because I've mentioned before when you're using a core wall that has bits in it, as you felt more of the bits kind of make their way to the top um, as the fibre sort of felt around it. So it is possible if we felted this really firm, sort of more of the pops of colour would, would show more. Um, so I might not be wasting it. We'll find out. Um, <clears throat> Erica is a star made of six points. Oh, don't say that. No, no, a star. Tell me, tell me a star's five points, and I've not got it wrong. Okay, everyone in chat, let me know. Is a star six points or is a star? I always thought a star was five. That's right. It can be anything because the star is a sun uh, or a planet, and they're round, and it's only through the atmosphere and our eyes and stuff that make it 
twinkle at all so stars don't have any points um but traditionally i immediately just thought in my head five pointed star when i thought of a star but am i wrong is it supposed to be six help me out people have i have i messed up the simplest of things have i messed up a star <laughs> it, it wouldn't be unlike me um Alicia's saying that the Henry and Joe's chai tea tastes just like Indian, proper Indian stuff. I'm going to have to give that a go. Hmm. Says me, who's also really going to have to give a go at not ordering so much online all the time. I've been terrible this month. Um, Erica just saying, no, no, absolutely right. Um, ask away. <laughs> I am no expert. And... And I haven't done any research here at all. I just saw that and thought, oh, star. Um, Serena, I'm sure it's five, two at the bottom, one on each side and one on the top. It's not just me that just that saw <laughs> that saw five pointed. Yeah. Diana, snowflakes are six, but stars can be anything, usually five. Oh, I'd love to I'm trying to think now how to felt a snowflake. I think that might be too much for me <laughs> well i suppose you could felt like a kind of shape like this and then put in the the, the shape of a snowflake um oh sharon saying the star of david is a six pointed tra a traditional star is five ah cool thank you so much yes alicia's saying for the colored for the shimmer there's yellow blue green and blue green shimmer bats oh awesome that sounds good there's no purple i noticed it's every range should contain purple <laughs> um but yeah that sounds pretty um i'd love to see the shimmer in white as well i think that would like really pop because you'd get to see all the different colors um I'm being greedy now. <laughs> go, go away and make make the things that pop into my head. Um, but I'm just the the shimmer in the red. It looks like it's got quite a lot of kind of yellow and orange tones. But I bet in different colours, different colour, yeah, in different coloured backgrounds, different colours will pop in that shimmery stuff. It's very pretty. I really should have made this smaller. And um, for for reference, if anybody's making one of these um, out of what we got in the pack, which is totally, totally generous, it's just a day's thing, out of what we got. But this is, is all I've got left for uh, other projects, if we want to make other projects with this on a different day. Because I literally have no idea what's going to, what's in any of the bags apart from the ones we've opened. So... It is genuinely a surprise <laughs> what I'm felting for you the next day. I've got some ideas of things in my head that I could make if we run out of ideas, but I want to hopefully be inspired by things. <laughs> Diana, yay, let's hear it for purple. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Fluff up my nose again. Just want to make this guy a little more firm and then we are done. I'm debating, right? You guys can help me or lead me astray. I do not have much food in the house and I can't be bothered going to the shops today. I'm going to go to the shops tomorrow. Um, but I'm cosy. The heating's on. I'm going to, when I finish the stream, I just want to kind of put my big fluffy slippers on. Um, so... Right, tell me. Tell me all what you're having for your tea. I have enough in the house to make a kind of omelette. That is about all I have. Or I could phone Just Eat and say to myself that I'm helping small businesses in my local area by ordering takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> so let me all know what you're having for tea. I know it's probably early in the day for most of you, but you're, it's Sunday. You're probably thinking about what you're going to eat. So let me know what you're going to have and tempt me. And let's see if I'm going to be good and have an omelette or if I'm going <laughs> to phone for a delivery and help a small struggling local business. Um, Erica is great to be surprised. Absolutely. It totally is. Um, and 
it's been good. To, I've been happy so far that I haven't opened a pack and just gone like, well, <laughs> there's always there's always a good idea. You know, there's always a bit of inspiration of what we can make. So it's working. Uh, Sharon, so just want to say I'm not a felter and I've never seen someone felt. So this is really cool. Oh, good. well, glad to have you aboard anyway. Yes, we, we're we not all felters here. <laughs> Waving a needle at you. Subscribe, else. <laughs> um, we're not all felters here. Any any crafty people or whatever are all welcome along. But yeah, needle felting surprisingly is not new. I I did a thing on the history of needle felting a while back, and I was surprised because when I got into it, I'd heard a lot about it from like Japan and like really cutesy little felts and stuff. Um, but I was surprised it was actually invented in America in the 80s. And, and literally, I mean, invented, um, if you haven't seen, the huge sheets of commercial felt that are made, they are made with, like, giant machines that have hundreds of needles in them. So they are needle-punched. They're, need they're created with needles. And the, the woman had got a smaller like a smaller set of this to make she was like a fabric creator and she was creating some sort of arty felts and her husband just used one of the little needles and played around and I believe the first things he was felting were actually geodes because he was just taking scraps and putting them together and between them and then another friend of theirs they sort of started to make all sorts of 3D shapes. They figured out you could sculpt just with a needle that was sitting around. So that's that's where it came from, but that was in the 80s. But it really has taken a long time to take off. So it still feels like a really new art form, which is weird um, because making felt from wool is like one of the earliest fabrics, um, you know, one of the earliest things we did because you know, we had animals and if you put like some if you put some wool into a shoe or something to soften it out your your sweaty feet over the course of a day just makes felt and i think some cultures as well putting under the saddle of a horse or something will to stop the to stop everything rubbing that creates felt so it's an easy thing to make so it's one of the oldest textile manufacturing ways we had and also one of the newest. Really weird. Um, <laughs> Erica, it's too easy to just phone for food and it's nice, yes. Uh, Carol's having a roast beef dinner. The meat's just cooking. That sounds good. Um... Serena, the kids are having tuna pasta and you're having curry when they're in bed. Oh, sounds good too. So your curry could be nice. Um, oh, Diana, <laughs> omelette with all the veggies in the fridge with some bacon. <laughs> See, look at that. You're, you're, you're being good. Um, oh, did I miss? Oh, yeah, Alicia's letting Sharon know. Yeah, I'm using the Maker's Advent Calendar bits to make my star today um and yes you sell the advent the the makers sell the advent calendar starting in june and it's sold out by july yep absolutely i totally missed it last year and i was determined not to miss it <laughs> um Southport, is this number five in the advent calendar? It is indeed. This is number five. And I do have number six as well will be used in this. But this fabric is number five. Yes. Um, oh, Sharon, um, you, you craft with wax and wish we had a wax advent calendar. That would be cool, too. Yeah, you need to you need to speak to your suppliers. It's a fun thing to have. And Space is good for the suppliers as well. I'm I'm getting a little tour of all the makers' fabric that I haven't spotted on the site. Um, so it's a good way to do that. It helps your creativity. Um, but yeah, it's a fun thing. And yes, um, this is number five: midnight blue rainbow drop bats. <laughs> Oh, Ron's having a vegetable, no, he's saying vegetable birri birri Annie. 
from your favorite Indian. We're having chicken tikka garam masala, hot and full of fate flavor. It's been a feachy week weather-wise, need something tasty. I'm with you there. Yeah, curry sounding tempting. I was thinking about a Chinese, but curry does sound good. Um, oh, you guys are tempting me. Um, and Southpaw is saying, good, now I know what to make. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just one idea. There's tons. Um, I think the idea of a, a fairy's dress is good because it's pretty. Um, I love people were saying a 2D galaxy background for a painting because it does. It's a little galaxy. Um, but I just like the idea of the star. Um, <laughs> from Bridget and Brotty Fairy. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, so Ron's Bridget and Brotty Fairy, um, which is just over the other side of the country from me. Um, but yeah, you're just as cold with you guys. I think there was a bit of snow over that way here. Um, Diana, you're not being good. There's no meal delivery here. Oh, no. Um, whereabouts are you? I, I know I'm far too lucky, and I just realized that you can do just eat with PayPal. Um, so that's terrible. <laughs> um oh serena you had chinese in the week but all our locals are pretty rubbish oh that's that's not good um i'm making myself super hungry now i shouldn't have done this an omelet's just not gonna not gonna be great is it it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna hit the spot now chinese or indian there's there's a couple of good good of both about here and they're both on the app and I never have takeaway. I really drat, drat, drat. I really should. I knew nobody, nobody encourages other people to be good. We, we we always go, yes, do the bad thing. Live vicariously through other people. Um, now, if you're actually making a star brooch, this is probably a little bit too big. I would go a little bit smaller than this. I mean, it will felt down a little bit more, um, but it is still pretty big for a brooch, really. Um, so I would say, like, use, if you're going to do it, use about half of, of what we've been given, and then there'll be extra to make other things. But I wanted to do it big enough so you can actually see what's going on. I'm just trying to flatten off and round out these star points to make it look pretty. And then I think we'll be done. Um, Alicia, you use HelloFresh and get meals boxes delivered. You do have to cook, but I love it. It's so great. Yeah, my friend's doing that. I was actually super impressed. My friend that I saw yesterday, um, she has not been cooking in the past before, before this lager logi and all the lockdowns. But just before all the lockdowns came in, she'd ordered some HelloFresh, she'd ordered a HelloFresh subscription and it's been fantastic. She, She's now a great cook. She's cooking all lots of different things and has those boxes coming in all the time. So I'm super impressed with her um, because I think that's when it gets you started to see that you really can actually cook and then, you know, she can try, she, try different things. Um, yeah, so it was a great idea. But Yes, I, the, I can't order a HelloFresh box in time for tonight. <laughs> so, I might look into something in the future. In general, not today, obviously, I am talking of cheating quite badly. In general, I eat keto, so no carbs and stuff. So I'm trying to find a subscription box that that does that, that does like more, more meat and veg and, and less rice and pasta. Um, but there must be some, there must be one out there, right? I think okay, I would generally felt this a bit firmer, it's still a bit squishy. <laughs> just yeah, there's a weird bit there when I squished it, it kind of came away. But so, I'm just gonna firm up the center a little bit here. New needles, here. this one, I'm just gonna firm up this a tiny bit more, and then we will add the brooch and then we will be done um you could make it a could spend ages on it making it super firm but yeah 
easy project. <laughs> um, yeah, Alicia, it keeps you healthy with portion control, lots of veggies and a nice variety. Absolutely, I think it's a great idea. Like years ago, I thought these things were terrible and wasteful and whatever else. But well, I've been limiting myself this year really um i just go to the supermarket once once a week um i didn't plan too great this week i was a bit rubbish but in general i just go to the supermarket once a week but um before this year i would pretty much go to the supermarket every day and you would end up spending a fortune in just little bits that you don't need so i can see that having a box delivered of everything you kind of need it's not as expensive as it sounds like it is when you can spend like 30, 40 quid in a day without even thinking of it. Um, or, if, you know, you're just going for like a pint of milk and you end up spending 20 quid. You're like, what on earth did I buy? Um, oh, Alicia, yeah, good point. I could use the brooch to pin it to a cur curtain or fabric for decorations. I do have... There is, you can't even see, yeah, there is. I do have a curtain right at the side here, but it's just out of shot. Um, and that's just my soundproofing wall. Um, I'm trying to think where it could pin to back there. I'll figure something out. <laughs> we'll figure something. But right, I think that is, it could felt a whole lot firmer, but hopefully this should work for, so these, this is day six, a few of them, it's not just one, but these are no sew brooch pins. Now I've done brooch pins before where you just put them in place and kind of felt the fabric over the top of them, which is good, but a little bit fiddly. But these don't have the little twirly at, hold it against the black of my shirt. There we go. They don't have the little turn twirly, it's just a bent. So. If I put it in deep into the fabric and then it can just twist all the way around. <laughs> How cool is that? And then it's then the pin is actually just trying to close it. The pin is actually in without me having to sew. That's the easiest thing in the world. Um so yeah, totally, if you're making a star, spend a bit more time on it than me, but I made myself hungry. <laughs> Let, let's not pretend otherwise, I'm I'm leaving you. That's interesting f texture, not in a good or a bad way. This isn't massively firmly felted, but it must be the bits in it, but it almost feels like a kind of bean baggy fabric, not quite, but yeah it's different that's weird i don't know anyone who's got this stuff and has felted it because it feels totally normal as a fabric Ooh. well let me know if i'm going insane i probably am but that was different um alicia yeah um the the meal boxes are cheaper and healthier as you can't buy all the junk food at the store. Yeah, absolutely. It's so tempting to just go, well, I'll have a cheat day because I'm at the store. <laughs> Lily, easy. And are you sure? Are you sure you don't want me to show you again? It, it's like the, the candy cane, which is, oh, lucky point. The candy cane tutorial I did on Friday. I, I hope you don't me, need me to, to slow down and, and show you that again. But yeah, that's the simplest brooch pins in the world um okay guys i think i will leave you to well give you a couple of minutes to say goodbye but yeah after a weird start of this stream not starting technology is being i think youtube is being weird um anyone else on youtube lily let me know what you've been finding but youtube seems to have been very very odd the past few weeks um, and I know people are telling me they're not getting notified of the videos. They're not, my my streams aren't starting and they're not finishing. Anyway, let's, let's put the star in his home. I've put him back there with Santa. You can just see a black lurking presence. What's well, navy blue? Okay, guys. Um, hmm, still, still. Courier Indian, Courier Indian, omelette's not doing it for me, right? 
right, <laughs> I'm going to go away and order some junk food. Um, Erica, oh, thank you so much for the chat and idea. Hope to tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to what we've got tomorrow. I should, if I get out of bed in time and get all my work done in time, because I'm going to feel like a slug after eating loads of junk food. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I should be here at 11 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning UK time. Um, if not, you can catch me up on catch me on the replay. Uh, Diana, yours is a very small one with a hat. Awesome, Lily. We've broken YouTube. Absolutely, Alicia. Thanks, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And <laughs> Carol, thank you, Pam. And Pam's cla clan, clan. And don't forget, pop over and watch Lily's latest video. Um, right, guys. Have a great evening and 